Westbrook's future look like? That's hard to say, Maggie. I mean, I think they're still getting over the shell shock of this. They do have – they've had plans in place. I mean, they kind of knew – even though I think they always believed he'd come back, I think they, they've had plans of how to go forward. I mean, at this point, a GM – it's really hard with these guys at this point to read the tea leaves uh, with play with these superstars because you know they can make it sound like they're going to come back, but if you get sort of seduced into that thinking, you can get left with with nothing the way they have now with with Durant, the way other GMs have. So I think that they need to get a clear picture of exactly what Russell Westbrook's thinking, and if they don't believe he's going to resign with them in a year, and and I mean have really strong indications this time. They almost have to trade him. I mean, you can't go through this again and and get nothing um, for all these superstars that they've had. Or, I mean, the Harden they got, you know, some pieces back. Stephen Adams is back for him and they, with that pick. But you just can't get nothing for another one of these guys. So, you know, they're in a tricky position, and if they believe that Russell Westbrook bought into their culture and you know loves playing in Oklahoma City and you know. I think that when Durant was out, Westbrook sort of savored that time in some ways and a chance to, you know, really show what he could do. But look, at, listen, they had a lot of those same positive feelings about Durant, and he just left. So they're in a tight spot, and you know, they may get, they may be the kind of team that now has to get into the mode of of getting young assets and building this thing back. Wow, and rebuilding just a year after they were one win away. From the Listen, NBA they're finals. not going to be terrible. I mean, they're not going to be terrible. If they have Westbrook and they have the rest of that team that Presti's put together around him, they're still a very credible representative team. Obviously, not a championship team, but they're a credible team. The question is just Westbrook's a free agent in a year. And so you have to sort of get a sense for, for what he's going to do. But there's just so little – there's so little – um, motivation for players to sign extensions before they come up as free agents. And that's one of the problems that these teams are going to face. Is if you can't get guys to extend, you know, you're always going to be left in this, this high anxiety situation where they're having these meetings and they're, you know, and they're prone to being swayed. Lee, if the Thunder decide they want to blow things up, if they want to try to get as many assets as possible for Russell Westbrook, is this a move that you could see them making before the season begins? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose they could. I mean, they have to get a read on him. Um, this really isn't what they're going to want to do. I mean, they, you know, they put a lot into Russell Westbrook. I mean, they put a lot into Durant also. I mean, they, you know, they had three guys. Now they're down to one. They're going to do everything they can to keep that one, and they're obviously going to be able to offer him more money than anybody else come free agent time. But if you're going to maximize the return on him, then yeah, the way to maximize the return is to is to sell him off as early as possible, but that's going to be, I mean, that would be a very painful thing for that team, and it's definitely not, it's definitely not the first route they'd want to take.